Hi, this is Beth Rosenberg, Associate Editor of Soundings Trade Only. We're here in Louisville for IBEX. We've been in the convention center talking to exhibitors to see how the show's going. So let's walk inside and see what they have to say. Hi, we're here with Frank Marciano, President of Dometic Marine. And uh, today is the first day of IBEX, and we want to know how the show's going so far. Well, so far, you know, the traffic isn't heavy, but the people that are here are good, qualified people. We've already seen some customers, uh, some of the purchasing people from our customers, and other business associates in the industry, so it's a great place to network and see your customers. Are you anticipating a good show this year? Yes, we are. You know, it's early to tell what kind right. of turnout we're going to get, but uh, we should know by the end of day tomorrow whether we've had uh, a good turnout or not. So we're hoping we're going to get a lot of people out here. And I see you have a lot of new uh, things that you're showing off this year. Can you tell us quickly about a few of them? Well, we've got some very interesting new products uh, this year. Some of them are on the electronic side of the business. Others are on the mechanical side of the business. On the mechanical side of the business, we have a new ice machine that's much smaller than our previous model. Puts out a little less ice, but it's much lighter, smaller, and a better price point, so it gives advantages to our customers. We have some uh, really neat electronics where we have a frequency controller which will ramp up a compressor like the one that you see here. It'll ramp it up to speed, then disengage so that line power can keep the compressor running, and then it'll ramp the compressor down and disengage. And the advantage of that is you don't have start and stop surges of electrical power on the boat, which is very important. But because it starts and then disengages, you don't have the harmonic distortion that a frequency drive can create and ha wreak havoc on other systems in the boat. So now we have a device that gives you the optimal equation on both sides. We have a silent fan controller, and we also have a new marinized rooftop air conditioner for certain oh, okay. applications where people just want to bolt an air conditioner onto the roof of a vessel in a certain application. Mm -hmm. So those are just some of the highlights. Uh, we also have a rush flush toilet, which it allows us to get toilets on bigger boats than we do currently now the vacuum control. What are you thinking 2012 is going to hold for the industry? I think 2012 for the pleasure boat industry, yeah. um, I think we're going to have a, a slight growth. I don't think there's going to be anything monumental, maybe 2 or 3 percent. Like I said, supply and demand are pretty much in balance. Everybody's nervous about the economy, nobody knows where it's going to go. But at the end of the day, I think people get used to the swings in the economy. And people that want a boat, they say, you know what, I'm going to go boating. Hi, we're here with Steve Tilders from Rule of Dabsco, and we're here to talk about how IBEX is going. So how's the show going for you guys so far? It's so far so good. Typical opening day, uh, a little lighter crowd, but the appointments that I made, the people showed up for so I'm pretty happy with that. Are you feeling that it's a good uh, qualified audience that's coming by to talk Def to you? Definitely a qualified audience. Um, you know, with budget cuts, companies are sending their key people. So we don't have quantity, we have quality. All of the economic woes that we've seen and experienced, people still love boats. Um, and we heard at the industry breakfast this morning something interesting, that we have 21 million used boats out there and that's actually good for an aftermarket and OEM company like we are. We sell the replacement parts to keep those used boats up and running. So I don't feel so badly about that. <laughs> so when boat sales are high, we do well. And when people hang on to boats, we do well as well. So it's it's a win-win for us. Do you want us to show, to show sure, us a few of the products that you're couple, exhibiting? We have a couple new products. First is our um, Rule Aquacharge. This is the first cordless electric pump with a rechargeable battery in the world. So to operate the pump, you turn the battery on, and the battery acts as a switch, and you turn it off, and the pump will give you about 20 minutes of continuous running. That'll give you at least 200 gallons. That's four 55-gallon drums of liquid. That's a lot of water. When it runs down, you could just recharge the battery rather than going out and buy D cells you take the battery out and it slips into the charger and in a matter of six hours the thing is charged up and ready to go. So we've redesigned a lot of our water pressure and wash down products for IBEX this year. We have a new water pressure series called Parmax Plus 
and a new washdown pump series called Hot Shot. This is the six gallon per minute hot shot water pump, washdown pump. Six gallons per minute at 70 PSI. It's almost going to peel paint. So we're pretty proud of that. Hi, I'm here with Nicole Murray, co-founder of Anchor Suit, and we're here to find out how IBEX is going so far. So far, so good for us. We're doing really well. We've had um, a lot of activity with some distributors and retailers. Um, much better than we did last year, I must say. Right. And um, hopefully it will turn into something. Okay. Uh, is this your second time exhibiting in IBEX now? This is our second year. Um, last year we, uh, we did okay, like I said, but this year it has just been spectacular. How has business been this year for you guys? Business has been going very well. Um, we picked up uh, Defender Industries, just picked up our product, and we're also available in Overton. So it's going really well. We're really excited about it. Can you tell us a little bit about your product? Our product is basically a, um, a wetsuit for the fluke anchor. Do you want to show me over here? Absolutely. Uh, basically, you uh, slip your fluke anchor inside, <laughs> add some room for your road chain, and you zip it up, lock it together, and off you go. Well, that's it from IBEX. Sounds like everyone's having a good show so far. Keep checking back on TradeOnlyToday.com to see what else is going on at the show.